A Basics for Teachers, sponsored by the Oklahoma Public School Resource Center. My name is Jean Potter, and I will be your host. We're looking today at the Achievement Status and Growth Projection Report. If you watched the last video, you'll know that this is a part of the Achievement Status and Growth Report section in the MAP reports for NWEA, and we chose to look at the projection report as a PDF file. Again, you could also choose to download this as a, an Excel file, a spreadsheet. Giving, using it as a spreadsheet would allow you to manipulate some of these figures so that you could begin to sort and filter and begin to additionally analyze them. But for just right now, we're going to be looking at the PDF report. Up at the top, again, we get the general information about who the teacher is, what the class, which class we're talking about. We're going to be looking at projection out from the fall of 2017 to the spring of 2018. So a total of 28 weeks of instruction. We're looking at a couple of students. We obviously do not have any scores for the spring test. That's not been given. But what we do have are scores for the fall 2017 test, both the writ range and the percentile range and then a mathematical projection based on NWEA data on what the projected writ and the projected growth would be to keep these students at the same level of achievement that where they are when they did the fall test. So let's look at a couple and see what this means. Looking at Brandy Bartholomew, Brandy is an eighth grader. She took the fall test on the 27th. She got a RIT score of 225, which put her in the 47 percentile range. Based on those scores and the fact that there's going to be 22, 28 weeks of instruction, NWEA predicts that she will probably grow if she continues at the same pace up to about a score, a RIT score of 230, which is a projected growth from 225 to 230. It's a projected growth of five points. But looking at this, that will keep Brandy right about where she is. She's right at the 47th percentile. As a teacher, I would like Brandy to achieve a little bit higher than that and begin to make some moves toward achieving above average instead of right at the average. So I can look at this and I can talk, have a conversation possibly with Brandy and say, you know, you've you're at 230, or you will hopefully will be at 230 if you grow the same, but that still keeps you below average. If you work just a little bit harder, you might be able to project out and you might be able to get up to maybe the 50th percentile by the spring and then continue growth in the future. So we're looking at Brandy and we're going to come talk to her about making some extra growth, adding some a higher goal than what was projected. If we look at another of our students down here, let's look at Brittany. Brittany is an eighth grader also, took the test about the same time. She scored a 251, so 26 points higher, and that put her in the 92nd percentile level. To keep at the 97th percentile level, NWEA projects out that she would go from 251 to 255, which is a growth of four points. And that's not surprising. Growing Growth at higher levels seems to be a little bit slower statistically than it does at the lower levels. And if we want her to maintain, she needs to maintain at least four points of growth. If we want her to go up a little bit, then we could talk to her about increasing her projected growth goals also. So this is the Achievement Status and Growth Projection Report. In our next lesson, we'll be talking about a similar report in this family called the Achievement Status and Growth Summary Report. Join us again for another lesson. Thanks and goodbye.